Much of London remains under siege from rioters whose anger began festering in Tottenham and then spread like wildfire across several communities of London. Police have arrested more than 500 people for looting, violence and arson. But so much of London has been torched that the city's fire brigade admitted it ran out of vehicles to tackle all the fires. Clearly outnumbered by those turning London into a war zone, the police have called in 1,700 reinforcements to help them contain the madness. It's pure gratuitous violence. It is criminal damage. Uh, and it is burglary. Uh, I uh, and my officers uh, will pursue all those that are engaged in criminality and we will put them in front of the courts uh, and we will be uh, asking the courts to send down uh, significant uh, sentences. But the youth in Croydon vow this is just the beginning of their rampage. This is just started, this is just proven to the police, this is minor stuff, this is just showing what they can do. And people with guns are going to come out next, start killing people to shoot, show the police that we're not, we're not standing down to this. And that's exactly what happened when they set an entire block of homes on fire. An aerial view of Croydon revealed massive fires raging out of control. Masked youngsters in Clapham were being videotaped brazenly stealing from this store. Yeah, why are you stealing everything? And the police, of course, aren't here either because they yeah. are stuck elsewhere. The looting in Birmingham was more like a free-for-all. A battery of youth could be seen stealing everything they could hold on to in a grab-and-dash move. On the streets of Hackney, the youth taunted police with a vengeance, throwing rocks and bottles despite riot police charging after them. British Prime Minister David Cameron cut short his summer vacation to hold a crisis meeting aimed at toughening the police response to the riots. Good morning. He said afterwards he'll do whatever is necessary to restore order. <laughs> With less than a year before the 2012 Olympic Games, the world is scrutinizing whether London truly can handle itself. Sonia Artero, TVB News.